single most powerful conduit of evil in the history of the world. I will remake the world as I see fit. Gone, gone the form of man. Arise the demon Atrigan! What's up, fan bros? We're here with Phil Barassa, who is in charge of character design on Justice League Dark. Big dog once again, you know, join the fan bro show. Thank you for being here. My pleasure, my pleasure. All right, so when you're, like, right here, you, you've got a lot of iconic characters, obviously, okay. and you can't stray too far, but mm -hmm. what did you bring to your, you know, what was your vision when, when you were asked to do this job? Yeah, so when you talk about iconic characters in the DCU, uh, I think of like Batman and the Justice League. We, we've done a string of like three Justice League movies and, and three Batman films that are all tied into this same continuity. Yeah. And those characters are, it is really hard to stray from the, the uh, traditions because they're so set in stone. So there's not a lot of wiggle room. The great thing about characters that we're introducing in Justice League Dark is they're monsters and they're more they're, there's they're, they lend themselves to more exaggeration they there's more potential variation with how you interpret those characters from the page to the screen um, there's not a lot of wiggle room with bat uh, with superman and wonder woman they have to be perfect yeah. but with swamp thing and dead man and etrigan there's a lot of room to play yeah. because they're almost like in the same way that villains are more, are more fun because you can explore more possibilities. They're the same way. They look like villains, but they're heroes. So yeah. it's fun in that way. And there's kind of even a fine line with them between being villains and heroes, yeah. like especially absolutely. Etrigan, yeah. you know, who's a demon. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like a gray area, but I like that he's a monster with like a noble soul. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's what's cool about him. So it's fun to play those different, uh, that contrasting, you know, what, what the interior of the character is versus their exterior. And that helps when we're, we're trying to think of the way, the look of the whole show and stuff like that. And then you also have, like you said, a bunch of you know heroes who are walking that fine line, anti-heroes, whatever you want to yeah. call it. So then, what about the villains in this right. piece? Yeah, I mean, it, it's funny because it's almost monsters versus monsters, yeah. which is a lot of fun. Um, again, ha be working on sort of characters that are amazing, but there's a restriction on how you can interpret them, like like Superman and 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 Wonder Woman and, and Aquaman. They have to be just so. But this is very. There is a lot of gray area, and we do get to visually. We get to push so many possibilities because there's no right or wrong way to do a character as exaggerated as Swamp Thing. And the villains are, in some ways, the villains are more normal looking than our heroes in this case, except, you know, when you'll see in the movie, but there's some there's some crazy stuff that happens. But yeah, it, it, it's almost like the monsters are the heroes this time. And, and we don't necessarily have to make the villains top that, you know, because we're playing against type. Yeah. Out of the ones you can reveal, who is your favorite design in this story so far, I think probably uh, the demon, definitely yeah. Etrigan. Yeah, because you know he, you know he's cool. He's like he's got this feral, like almost like beast-like personality, but he's very noble and he and, and he speaks in rhymes. So you know that's always fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? D <laughs> dude has bars. Yes, Etrigan, <laughs> Etrigan definitely has bars. I, I I was gonna say it, so I'm <laughs> right on. Yeah, no, no, he's a lot of fun. He's a lot of fun to draw. I mean, I, I would draw him in every movie if they asked me to. Oh so. man. I'm so happy and I'm like so hyped to see him because yeah. like you say he has bars and I just always just Etrigan is also yeah. he's kind of an asshole. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But he's like a medieval rapper. You know what I mean? Like a yeah, Dark Ages uh MC. Perfect. Right on. All right, man. Thank you cool. so much for joining us today, man. Awesome. Right Can't wait to see it. Yeah. It's the magic of the house. Decided it wanted to experience humanity and gave itself a body. He sure, sure did. did.